Welcome everyone, Mike with Bowers Barbecue. Coming to you today from Maple, Texas. Now Maple is a small town southwest of uh, Dallas, about 10 miles west of Waxahachie. Probably best known to be the hometown of Texas country artist Bart Crow and uh, Clint Hawley, AKA Mr. Maple. But there's a new place here in town that's getting a lot of recognition for some great barbecue, and that's Cruz Barbecue Company. So we're gonna go check it out. But first, we gotta start the fire. Seems to be an obvious drug problem in Maple, Texas. They're everywhere. So Cruz is in historic downtown Maple, Texas. This old building. Poles holding up that wall. That's kind of cool and crazy all at the same time. food is here. We have some ribs, we have brisket, pulled pork, bacon mac and cheese, street corn, and he was nice enough to give us some of the brunch option. We have a breakfast taco, we have a brisket street taco, and a brisket burrito taco, as well as some cornbread and some honey. I cannot wait. Okay, so we have a lot of food here. Um, I cannot wait. We're gonna kind of go with the traditional meats first. Pork spare rib. Check that out. So that rib had the perfect bite through. It was um, a little sweet, a little heat, fantastic rib. Now they, got, they cook on a gravity feed smoker. And you can kind of tell that little charcoal wood flavor. I like that. I mean, that's pretty much how I started cooking. So absolutely love that. That was a good rib. Next up, go some brisket. Already falling apart here on me. Look at that brisket. Looks pretty good. Very solid brisket. I'm gonna get a little bit more of that bark. I didn't get much of that bite. Excellent brisket. It's uh, peppered, not overpowering. Basically, traditional Texas style brisket. Next up, pulled pork. I absolutely love pulled pork. Very moist, um, maybe a little under seasoned, but that's just my prerogative on what I, I like it. I, um, I like it enough, I'll get another bite. Next up, we're some bacon mac and cheese. So it's good. <laughs> mac and cheese is creamy. Um, very good thick sliced bacon. That was, that was solid, very solid. All right, so we're gonna move on to the tacos. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know it's my favorite. First up, he was kind enough to give us some of the breakfast taco, basically brisket, sausage, and egg and cheese. That was real good, I love that. Something about smoked meats on a breakfast taco is that my absolute favorite. So next up is the brisket. That was, that was excellent. The brisket's not your traditional Central Texas like the sliced brisket was. A little bit more Mexican flavors in there. I really, really like that. It's awesome. I um, see the little sauce here. I'm gonna try the little sauce. Sauce completely complements that brisket. That was a good taco. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. If you see more content like this, uh, focusing on barbecue restaurant reviews, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And make sure you do it with a single video, ring that notification bell. All right, before we dig into that burrito taco, I'm gonna try a little bit of this street corn. Basically this corn, cojita, mayo. That cheese smells like stinky feet, but it's so good. <laughs> 
All right, final piece here, the Maria tacos. Look at this, all that cheese. Uh, it wasn't served with any consomme, but I don't think I'm gonna need it. That bite there was worth the hour and a half drive. <laughs> that, was, that was a good taco. Had the same beef as the street taco, griddled on both sides of the corn tortilla. Uh, I guess that's a Oaxaca cheese. Man, that was good. Um, like I said, no consomme, but it's green sauce, it's good. I'm gonna try it on that as well. Yeah, that was awesome. Um, there's also some cornbread, forgot about that. A little bit of like spice honey. That's legit cornbread. I'm liking everything so far. I have a little bit of barbecue sauce here. As like I mentioned before, I'm not opposed to sauce whatsoever. You can definitely enhance the, the flavor of the meat. Now this really needs it. Get a little brisket here. You know the bite. I can't really tell what that was. I got the sweetness, but not much else. Definite sweet uh, tomato. Pretty good. What's your favorite protein so far, Zoe? Brisket rib or pulled pork? Yeah. Rib, yeah. There's corn though? It's corn I like. I'm full. But Paul, the owner, was nice enough to bring us some dessert. So we're going to try that for you on camera as well. First up is a, um, a cheesecake mousse. I think it's caramel cheesecake mousse. Now, full disclosure, I'm not a huge cheesecake fan. My wife, on the other hand, absolutely loves it. But I'm gonna try it for you guys. Let me rephrase that. I used to not be a cheesecake fan. <laughs> this is incredible. This is absolutely incredible. Go for another one. Zoe, <laughs> this is good. This is good. Be right back. Daughter's taking over. That's weird. It is. I don't like cheesecake, but I love that. <laughs> Her reaction is just like mine. <laughs> the girl can't breathe right now. She's so excited. It was good though, wasn't it? Hey, give it back. Your mother's gonna want to try some. <laughs> All right, thank you, ma'am. All right, I don't know how we're gonna top that. We're gonna try some banana pudding here. Got a little bit of cracker, a little bit of pudding, a little bit of banana. This is more my wheelhouse. Man, that cheesecake is <laughs> wow. Very incredible. But man, the go-to here is that cheesecake mousse. My wife gets mad at me, but personally, I don't like cheesecake at all. I usually refer to it as burnt doo doo because to me, it's, it's absolutely awful. That is not awful. That is something special. And I'll get that each and every time I'm here. All right, we're going to stack on this for a little bit more, even though we're way too full. I'll be back with a recap. This video is sponsored by Fantastical Vacations, a concierge travel agency specializing in Disney, Universal, all cruise lines, and some all-inclusive resorts where all of the planning services are completely free to you. You can email Mike and Kara at fantasticalvacations.com to learn more. So man, I absolutely love these old pictures. Old historic Maple, Texas. This building is pretty awesome. Owner Paul said this was pretty much set up for him. He's kind of put his logos on it and it was good to go. I think that's a great opportunity he had. That's so cool. Man, I love this roof. It's so cool in here. Man, I am full. Everything here was fantastic. Um, the tacos were my favorite, which is no surprise because I love barbecue tacos. If I had to rank them, I would say burrilla, brisket, then breakfast. But all three were amazing. I'm glad I got the option to, to try all three. 
As far as the main proteins, um, brisket ribs and pulled pork, I would say the um, the brisket ended up being my favorite. The ribs for my daughter were, were her favorite. Um, that green sauce though on the, um, the tacos was absolutely amazing. And, and those desserts, man. I sent my wife a text saying, you're not gonna believe this, but I actually found a cheesecake that I like. She thought I was joking. Um, she was like, why in the world would you even order cheesecake? <laughs> I was like, I didn't. It was gifted to me, and I'm so glad it was because it was absolutely amazing. I can't wait for her to try it out and see what she thinks. Um, yeah, Cruise Barbecue is another great stop as you're touring Texas. Um, Maple is a small town, a little bit out of the way, but if you're traveling through Dallas-Fort Worth on 35, whether it be 35 east or 35 west, it's not too far away. Probably about 10 miles from each one of them. Um, if you guys are big Meat Church fans and are going to Waxahachie, Texas for a, a class or to, to see the shop, uh, this is a 10 minutes away. Uh, it's not far at all from Waxahachie, downtown Waxahachie. Um, definitely worth it for lunch uh, before you head on to the shop or, or afterwards. Uh, small operation right now. Uh, they said they cook about six to eight briskets on the weekend. So nothing too major right now, but they keep it up. They're going to have to get another smoker for sure. Um, yeah, this is a great stop. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of you for watching. I, uh, man, I cannot thank you all enough for being here. My goal is to, to grow this channel as much as possible, and I, and I kind of trend more towards the restaurant reviews. I, I have so much more fun doing restaurant reviews because the owners and the people around there make it so much fun for me. All right, until the next video, the fire is out.